My WordPress story starts in Alaska in 2008. And before I get into that, my name's Chris Badgett. I'm a WordPress e-learning entrepreneur. I'm the co-founder of the learning management system for WordPress called Lifter LMS. We've sold millions of dollars worth of that software. Also in the past did a lot of client work building custom WordPress LMS sites. Throughout this time, uh, I became a parent I have two wonderful daughters. I live on a little organic farm on the coast of Maine. I spend a lot of time in nature and uh, I'm either kind of really heavily online or not at all. So I'm kind of analog or really online. And I wanted to share my WordPress story with you and get a little personal. I normally don't get too personal. Uh, most of what I share is really uh, around the business of Lifter LMS. Uh, and promoting that kind of thing and you know I put myself out there but I don't really show a lot of the behind the scenes which I'm going to do today and share more of the backstory and behind the scenes story of Lifter LMS. I'm actually a quite introverted person. Uh, I spend a lot of time alone. Uh, sometimes people think I'm extroverted because I create a lot of marketing content and video and, and that kind of thing but I'm actually a super private person. For example, if you follow me on social media, um, you'll notice I don't share a ton of stuff about my family or um, my kids. It's kind of like we're just kind of very private people. So, But today, I'm going to kind of open up my story and share with you uh, in the hopes to inspire you, but also just to show my gratitude to all the amazing people uh, who have had an impact on me in the WordPress community and just being a part of that story and, and sharing that as well. So back in 2008, uh, I was living in Alaska and I used to run sled dogs for a living. I managed a helicopter supported sled dog tour business on a glacier uh, in the summers. That's how I made my money. And in the winter, I helped my boss train for the Iditarod sled dog race, which is the big, long sled dog race across Alaska. And in that time, um, I started developing a fascination with online marketing. With uh, I started to see these online businesses start to emerge. You know, it was I was as a manager in a company. Uh, you know, I had to learn all these skills around leadership and working with people and different personality types and all this. So uh, in that t this time, I decided I wanted to start writing on these topics. So my first domain name that I bought was called OutdoorTribe.com. There's nothing there now, but I started blogging uh, my thoughts around outdoor leadership and what I was learning and how to manage and nurture and develop people, create amazing experiences and all that kind of thing. and. You know, in my summer, I would work very hard, you know, like 16, 18 hour days. I would live on the ice field in a tent, uh, kind of like, uh, not like a regular camping tent, but sort of like what you see in Civil War pictures. And um, in the off season, I'd have a little bit more free time to be creative and expand and uh, research. And that's when I really started in my leadership development, discovered marketing. And I'm not a classical marketer you know I have a very successful software company but I am, have no background formal education in business or technology so how did that happen <laughs> how do you know me as a marketing person um, and as a business person well a lot of that is just me self-learning and self-teaching and learning stuff I do have a background an academic background in cultural anthropology I've done a lot of world traveling I've lived in places like Nepal Honduras um, traveled, you know, all through Europe and South America and things like that, but more as an anthropologist and as a guy who did a lot in the outdoors, like rock climbing, mountaineering, and those kinds of things. But I went to YouTube and I, I, I just typed in how to build a WordPress site or how to blog, and I just started following these instructional videos. I bought my first hosting account from Bluehost, and uh, I put my blog up by just following along somebody's step-by-step videos and over time I'll just fast forward the story a little bit um, hopefully somebody like Matt Medeiros could interview me and do it we'll do a, a, a deeper dive on this story but um, 
in this time period, uh, I had my first daughter. I almost missed her birth because she came a little bit early and I was up on the glacier in Alaska and I'd come down and I was going to go up one more time um, and do a little bit more work and then be down and wait for the baby to be born. Luckily, a storm rolled in and um, prevented me from going back up because that storm might have trapped me from not being able to get down because of the weather with my daughter's birth, which would have been horrible <laughs> if that had happened, but it didn't. Luckily, I was, you know, the helicopters were grounded and, uh, you know, we do kind of the home birth things with a midwife. So a first daughter was born and really in the next um, six months, I decided I needed to make a career change. Um, I had, I love what I did in Alaska. I'm a big outdoors person, but I wanted to become more grounded as a family, more present, you know, less of this kind of deployed kind of lifestyle. And uh, in that moment, I went through this whole uh, process of starting a new career. So remember, no business background besides now at this point, I'd learn how to manage people and, uh, you know, kind of run logistics and operations on the glacier, which is awesome. Uh, the, nothing hides from you on a glacier. Everything has to be dealt with. <laughs> so that, that really taught me about systems and logistics. Um, and I... But I wanted to, you know, figure out my next path. So at this point, you know, I had decided that, um, you know, I'm, I really was kind of that unemployable type. I wanted to work for myself. Um, I, I had a hard time working for other people, um, not because I'm a nice person and all that, but I really take my job seriously, getting results seriously. I get a little bit of obses obsessive and I like to have control over a business and a company so that I can make the changes and do the things I want to do to be able to affect change and make the business better. So I just kind of naturally kind of gravitated to this, um, you know, I need to start my own thing. So I started, um, uh, you know, I took my WordPress experience. I started uh, selling some um, website building services in the real estate niche. I had a little bit of experience there. I had started doing a little bit of real estate investing and I was selling some real estate through websites and then I got my real estate license and then I went inside this brokerage and I started doing video marketing on YouTube and clients were coming from all over and everybody was like, what are you doing? I'm, I'm just doing modern internet marketing. You know, some industries are a little slow and even back in 2010 around this time, uh, online internet marketing for real estate was really behind the, th behind the times. So I started excelling there, selling websites uh, to things like subdivisions, uh, building microsites for individual properties, and uh, building platforms for other real estate agents. Then their business friends started wanting websites, so I started my freelancer agency. I also replied to a blogger I'd followed comments. He was looking for a project manager. And I was like, sure, that'll help me work, <laughs> work from home. I know how to manage in the offline world. Surely this online thing's not going to be that much different. Uh, so I started helping him and his agency. And he was sh serving higher-end clients, um, some famous brands, um, inf old, older school but influencers, things like that. And that's where I really cut my teeth in managing you know, more complex WordPress website builds. Fast forward the story a little bit. Um, I ended up, uh, you know, selling more than I could handle. So what that means is I had to hire real designers, real developers to deliver on the promises I, I had sold uh, to really make my clients happy. And then over time, uh, I was working with this other agency and they were kind of working with me. And so we were like, let's just kind of combine our agencies together. So that became what's known as Codebox. Um, uh, we took their name, I was Badget Media, they were Codebox. Uh, and that's where I found my co-founder, Thomas Levy, who's with me today. We had a third co-founder, his name was Joshua. Um, he decided to move on, he was great, but he ended up wanting to do different things. While we're at this agency, these folks had a specialty in the Infusionsoft niche. Uh, which is a CRM marketing automation deal. And we started getting a lot of clients in there, specializing in membership sites uh, that had teaching components, and we were doing really high-end sites. So these are like 30, 50, 70, 100K plus builds, like big projects. 
Uh, and essentially what we're doing is we were building these learning management systems on top of WordPress from scratch. And that's where we decided to, um, you know, we, we need to build a product because there is not a good off the shelf tool that combines everything that an LMS needs, the e-commerce engine, all the membership functionality, all the gamification engagement automation stuff. So that's, that's where the seed of Lifter LMS was born, which we launched to the world in 2014. That was our first, um, uh, our, 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 our agency clients were our first customers. And what I said when we launched Lifter LMS, what we agreed on as co-founders was if we did not sell a hundred licenses, we were gonna shut the project down. You know, So we were kind of following the lean startup methodology. So we sold 42 licenses on that first launch in October of 2014. And, um, you know, I'm just kind of bullheaded and obsessive and so are my co-founders, so we didn't shut it down. <laughs> we kept going even though we didn't even hit 50% of our success target there. Um, the next part of the story between 2014, uh, 2016 and so is really the most painful part of this WordPress story. Um, that's really where we were making the transition from being an agency to being a product company. So there was a lot of pain in this period. Um, our co-founder Joshua decided to leave, which um, I understand why he did that. He wanted to do that, um, but that was hard on, on us. Um, our, uh, all the profits we would make off the agency work, uh, we would sink into the product and not be able to have that much left over for, uh, Thomas and I, co-founder. By the way, I just want to say, Tom, you see my face a lot, but Thomas Levy, my technical co-founder at Lifter LMS, is an amazing guy. He's an amazing engineer. Could not have done it without him. We also have a great team. Many of, uh, many of our team members have been with us for seven plus years. Um, it really makes takes a team to make the magic work. So this is not just my story. There's other people, imp important people here as well. Um, so I went through a hard period there, really making that transition of being a bootstrapper and switching business models from being an agency to a product company. And, and it did not go easy or fast. There was a lot of pain, a lot of low income periods, um, a lot of just figuring things out on the fly. So during this period, I decided to leave where I was um, with my family. At this point, we had had a second daughter and um, we decided to leave Montana, which is where we were living, and we were gonna move into an RV. I didn't have the funds to get a travel trailer or the vehicle that I needed to pull it, so I walked into my bank and the RV dealership and all that, and the car, and I got a car that could pull a travel trailer, and I got put zero money down for both of those, and uh, we, we hit the road. So I had done a lot of traveling before, um, but now we were doing it as a family. And that was a really fun and challenging period. Um, we explored a lot of the national parks. We camped a lot for free. Uh, you know, while, and I do a lot of work working remotely from either a hotspot or a cafe or um, just sitting in the, the front seat of the car with the laptop open while my wife was driving. Um, Ultimately, we ended up uh, settling in a small town on the coast of Maine, where I live now. Uh, but that was a, a year of exploring and kind of finding that community where we wanted to settle in, where there was a really strong community for the kids and similar values and things we like to do, like organic farming and homeschooling activities and things like that. So... Um, the next, the next part is really just what I call the grind. This is where we would uh, just work. I mean, just putting in tons of work, uh, laying out a vision for new products, uh, premium add-ons for Lifter LMS, uh, marketing campaigns, um, strategic partnerships and all this stuff. Just that, that huge engine of work, you know, as soon as we could have a little breathing room and enough little additional income, we could bring in another team member to assist with things like customer support, 
um, uh, and things of that nature. So that that's really the next next phase. And then, you know, about I don't know. So this this is going to be about six years into the journey. The plane really started to level off. The money was there. We were we were started saving as a company, um, and things were really starting to grow and take off. So really, it was after six years of launching Left Trail LMS that things really started to settle down. Um, we were making good money. We were expanding our team. Uh, the market was maturing, and more and more demand was increasing for online course software, training-based membership sites. Um, you know, we we at this point we'd sold um, millions of dollars worth of LMS software. Uh, you know, I wasn't always stressed about every purchase I needed to make in my home. I was able to invest in things like an addition on my home. You've seen in my social media where I built this little office cabin in my backyard uh, to just kind of have my sanctuary for creating uh, and running a business from. So all this, you know, you know happened pretty far into that journey. So if, if you're creating a WordPress product business, um, it's not a... Uh, get rich quick uh, overnight success at least not in my experience it was a ton of hard work it continues to be so um, and you know through that period I went through a lot of burnout a lot of um, just fear and stress of you know running out of uh, money or just stressful like okay on, now on to the next fire on to the next problem so now from this place of more stability and uh, just a lot of time in the trenches, it's not as crazy and as hard as it once was, um, but we're not resting. We continue to innovate. You know, my focus has always been on the education entrepreneurs that are transforming the education system. We give away as much value as we can for free. That's why we made the core Lifter LMS plugin completely free. It's very valuable in and of itself. And it's why I'm making this video and I make lots of content to help other entrepreneurs like you out there um, to help inspire you on your WordPress journey. I've mentored some people who, uh, other WordPress entrepreneurs who were, who were looking for help. So at this point, you know, I started as like a mountain guide, as a guide in the wilderness. And for me, the biggest thing that that makes me strong or gives me strength as an entrepreneur my superpower is really my time in the wilderness like I've had to you know had a lot of close calls with grizzly bears um, you know ice climbing things or climbing a mountain where uh, you know we navigated some really dangerous um, situations or you know falling on a giant rock face somewhere in the middle of nowhere in Canada or, or wherever um, these things relative to business for me put everything into context so uh, when I need strength I just think back to you know some of the wilderness survival stuff and adventure feats I've done um, it's it's all relative so for you I would encourage you to find your sense of strength and uh, you know really my company mission at Lifter LMS is my personal mission which is to lift up others through education so lifting up others through learning uh, is what I'm all about. And that's the motivation and the fire that allows me to keep going and, and continue to stay motivated. I'm, you know, I do a lot of lifelong learning myself, just like I have no background in business or technology. So I've had to self-teach and learn those things. So I asked on Twitter if people had anything they wanted to know about. Um, so Mark asks, what are some of the mistakes that taught you the most valuable lessons? Some of the biggest mistakes are just um, going through too much stress, like being really, really hard on myself. It took me a while to figure out um, how to relax a little bit, especially in the early days as an entrepreneur. You know, lots of like, you know, ramping up with coffee at the beginning of the day uh, and then um, you know, having some drinks at the end of the day to settle down and, and just like over stressing myself. So the big lesson there is if you're going to go for the distance for the marathon, 
um, you really got to build some habits. So I have a, a morning routine. It starts at about 5 a.m. It goes to about 9 where I do tons of stuff from exercise to meditation to visualization, all that stuff. My morning routine is literally um, the backbone of my productivity. Um, Jamie was asking for some more personal stuff. I've given some in this video. Um, so just throwing that out there. If you study the Myers-Briggs, I am the INFJ personality type. <laughs> um, so that's something. Uh, I spend a lot of time thinking. Um, so I, I do a lot of long walks. Um, I don't have a TV in my house. We never have. So our, that doesn't mean, by the way, that I don't watch YouTube and watch movies and that kind of thing. But um, I, I live kind of a low-tech lifestyle. We grow a lot of our own food. Um, like I'm looking out my window at our 20 egg-laying chickens, and we've got our goats over there and our large garden and, and our house with solar panels over there. Um, so we're, we're pretty minimalist, kind of live off the land kind of people. So ho hopefully uh, that's inspiring. I'm not, I am somewhat motivated by money, but money is not the main event for me. Uh, it definitely, you know, there was a lot of stress getting to a point where things could, you know, be stable as a, as a family and as a provider for the family. But I'm very much motivated by you know, helping my team be successful, by helping our users be successful, helping our learners, our, our my customers, customers be successful, um, to give away, figure out how to give as much as we possibly can away for free in this WordPress community. Those are some things that motivate me, um, which I also share with um, Kim over at Paid Memberships Pro. She had a, a, a tweet about that, very similar, where at first she was motivated by personal freedom uh, and be, being her own boss, same thing there. But now it's about much more than, um, you know, working for yourself and escaping the nine to five and all that stuff. Uh, it's, it's really about impact in the world. And I love what I do. I love, this is Monday morning. I love Monday mornings. Um, and, uh, Igor and Ben, uh, also just highlighting my, uh, personal stuff. So, I'm a huge animal person. I love dogs. Um, I walk them every day. Sometimes you'll see me take selfies on my uh, morning walk through the woods. I spend a lot of time in nature. But really, the that that morning routine, I've been crafting that personal morning routine for as long as I've been in WordPress. So that's about 15 years. And um, literally, if I could name my isolate my success to one thing, it's a well-done morning routine. I have another video where I step through all that morning routine stuff. So if you'd like to see that, drop a comment below this video. Um, so that's my WordPress story. You know, there's a lot of detailed stories that fall inside of that. I've met so many wonderful entrepreneurs and developers, designers, and people and community members inside the WordPress community. Uh, this is a really special place, you know. I found my tribe in WordPress, similar to earlier in my life when I left my um, town in North Carolina, which is where I grew up, and I found this whole world of outdoor adventure people and digital nomads who were world traveling, kind of interested in culture type people. And then I found my you know, online business and WordPress uh, tech entrepreneur people. So, so many, you know who you are out there. I love running into you folks on the internet and in person at conferences and whatnot but um it's been a it's been a great journey and um if you want me to dig in any more in the story happy to thanks for taking the time to listen to my story and i wish you all the best on your wordpress journey